Hey everyone, welcome to the return of Workshop Wednesday. I know I took a long break on making these videos, but I'm back and in this episode I'm going to talk about what I'm working on, a quick recap of my 2018, what I'm reading, and I'm finally going to review the Maker Brand Clamps. Check it out. All right, let's start the episode off with what I'm working on. So right now I've got a client build that I'm working on here. This is a wall hanging uh, jewelry organizer. Still got to get the door finished on it and then get all the hangers put inside of it. It's made out of uh, red oak here, some plywood backer, and it'll be a shaker style uh, frame cabinet door on it. It's going to open out and then on the door it's going to have a saying uh, that the customer wants on it. So. It'll look like a sign, but when you open it up, it'll have all her jewelry and necklaces, uh, bracelets, and a whole bunch of storage for her. The next thing I'm working on is getting ready to uh, I've got a craft show, and my problem is I always procrastinate on craft shows. So I'm two weeks to the craft show, and I'm struggling, trying to get everything done. So I'm getting some cutting boards done preemptively. These are very rough right now, but this one is walnut with some maple stripes, strips. Uh, about one, one and a half, two inches thick. So we'll get those done for the shelves. And I am working on some end tables. I believe that this is silver maple with some really awesome spalton. Check this out. I'll get a close up here in a second. So I'm gonna do some basic hairpin legs, throw some copper. Uh, color on it and I've decided what I'm going to fill in all these knot holes with I think probably copper epoxy so it'll be a little bit different so that's what I've got going on in the shop right now as well as a complete reorganization project so I always complain my shop's been dirty and I'm finally in getting the shop cleaned up so I've got whole new storage put in we'll do that in another episode I've got bins just trying to make my 2019 more organized. All right, so my 2018 year in review, I know this is a little late in the year, we're already out of the first quarter, but uh, I decided to just go ahead and, you know, my first video back, even though it's beginning of the second quarter, uh, we'll talk about my 2018. So 2018 was my breakout year. It was the best year I've had since I've started doing this. I finally broke into the five figures, not far into the five figures, but I, you know, I made a pretty good amount of money, reinvested a lot into the business. Uh, some of my really big builds came this year. I built my first bar uh, with solid walnut top. Um, did a herringbone coffee table, kind of like the one I built for myself, but this one was a little bit larger. And of course, you know, none of the mistakes that I made with the one I did for myself where I was trying it with pin nails and brad nails, glue. Uh, so this one had no, no visible fasteners. Made a monstrous, uh, wide oak it was almost like 44 inches diameter i mean this thing was massive weighed well over 200 pounds it, it was really hard to move uh, did a large six foot long planters for a client um, those were uh, whitewashed and made for the outside uh, this large black oak uh, live edge table that was one of my firsts um, with metal with steel legs went with the local makers on making those legs because I haven't learned how to weld yet but it's on the to-do list for this year I uh, did a whole bunch of ladder shelf uh, display it was my first commercial project so that was pretty fun and I did my first feature wall so 2018 was full of a lot of firsts for me uh, very excited to see what 2019 is gonna Bring business has been a little slow this first quarter. Uh, hoping we'll pick it up here now that the weather's nice and then spring. And usually I find that spring makes people want to come out and buy furniture and go shopping. So I'm really looking forward to what 2019 is gonna bring. All right, so one of my goals for 2019 was to read more. So I'm trying to read 70 books this year. I'm way behind. Uh, life got in the way, but that's okay. Cause I think I can pretty catch up pretty quickly. So what's in progress right now is I'm reading a book called Getting Things Done by David Allen. And the whole thing is just about getting things done and a workflow to getting your tasks done. I'm only a couple chapters in, um, so we'll review that when I'm done. 
One of the best books I've read so far this year is a book called The Carpenter by John Gordon. And this is a story about a carpenter. It's not really a business side to carpentry. Uh, it's more of about the success principles that this carpenter uses to have a successful business and a successful life. And it's a very powerful message. I mean, I read it in less than a day. Uh, I took probably 10 pages of notes. Uh, I've got some inspiration on some quotes I'm gonna put up in my office just to keep me motivated and thinking. And, and you know, the biggest thing is, you know, you serve without thinking about it. And, you know, that's just, that's how life works. If you, if you give, you give, you get, you get. So, um, highly recommend that to be read. And then I also finished Handcrafted by Clint Harp. And my biggest takeaway from that book was to just get started. Doesn't matter if you don't know what you're doing. Doesn't matter if you have never built it before. Just, just get started. And as long as you have, um, you know, trust in yourself, trust in your family, trust in your clients, you're, you're gonna stay on course and you're gonna be successful. Uh, it was really, really good story. I didn't go much into the business side of Clint, but it was how he started. And that was, that was the biggest takeaway is, you know, he took on these gigs, had never built the stuff before, but he was very confident that he could. Well, maybe not confident. He was confident in his ability that he could. Uh, you know, everybody struggles, everybody has to restart, everybody has errors that they make on, on builds. You just keep pushing through. That was my biggest takeaway, it was a great story. Um, so that's that's pretty much what I've read this year. I'm gonna keep keep this blog going, get the, the, the books flowing, we're gonna keep talking about them. If you have any questions about the books, there'll be uh, links in my show description, and I hope you guys read them. All right, now let's get into it. So recently I purchased uh, some clamps from the Maker Brand Co., which is a group of makers that started a tool company and finish company. Uh, you probably know their names, Mike Montgomery, Ben Ueda, and Chris Salamone of uh, Four Eyes Furniture, Homemade Modern, and Modern Builds. Probably listen to their podcast. I mean, these guys are all over in, uh, Instagram and social media. Really spectacular product. So, uh, Black Friday came, they're running a really good deal. You get four 12 inch clamps, four 24 inch clamps, and then two of the monster 48 inch bar clamps. I forgot what the price was, but you know, I was, I was having a good year. So I went ahead and bought them. So guys, I bought this with my own money. This is not a sponsored review. They didn't send me the product. I bought it with my, my money from my business uh, because I like the style. So let's talk about their F clamps. So this is the 12 inch one. And not only is it a clamp, it could be a cudgel. Um, these are very stout. What I really like about it is they went, they went basic. So this is very similar to a, a 1950 style F clamp. I recently purchased a uh, entire subscription uh, content of an older magazine that started back in the 50s. And these were very similar to the clamps they were selling in those issues. What I really like about this is the big, big turning handle. I've got big hands and I could like to twist and get a good clamp and these hold very well. Um, and they don't bend very easily. I did get it to bend just a little bit, but I was, I was being dumb and clamping with what I wasn't supposed to be clamping the way I was doing it. Um, so very sturdy. Let's talk about the bar clamps. These monsters. I, I haven't weighed it, but it, it's got to weigh 15, 20 pounds. I mean, you can sit there, get a good workout in, fend off some home invaders, and then build some furniture. I really like these bar clamps. Uh, I like that they have a little bracket here. Uh, you can screw this down onto a board if you want to. My only complaint, and it's not, not a huge complaint, so I wish they would have put the bracket at the other end too. So when this is sitting on the table, it divots down just a little bit, but that's okay. It makes this easier to slide. So that could have been the design reason for it. I uh, really like this screw. Uh, there is a lot of length there. 
so that you could get a good pressure and you get it clamped really easily. Uh, man, I really wish that they gave four of these in that package because I need to go buy some more of them. And then the 24 inch ones are just like the 12 inch ones. They uh, adjust really well. They got a good pad. These don't come off very easily, which is nice. And they're very easy to adjust. And the screw mechanism is phenomenal. I mean, I really like these clamps. So between, between these clamps and like the Bessie clamps, uh, K-Style, so they'll probably be the only clamps I start buying from now on. So hope you enjoyed my review. I highly recommend these clamps if you're looking for some clamps. Um, maybe they'll run another special on Black Friday this year. I know they do have a uh, package deal all the time, so you get uh, quite a few clamps for a little bit less price than buying them individually. So check them out if you've used them and you like them or you don't like them, leave your comments on the bottom. Uh, I'd love to see what uh, everybody else thinks of these as well. Thanks. All right, so thank you for joining me for the first episode in 2019. Going to try to do this more regularly. I, I know I've said that a thousand times before, uh, but I've got it in my head. It's on my goal list. I'm gonna try to knock these out. I don't know if I could do weekly, but I'm sure gonna try, but at least I'm gonna do a couple a month. If you haven't already and you like the content that I provide, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified, and uh, really look forward to your comments. I want to evolve this uh, vlog and this content into what you want to see. So if there's something you want me to talk about, if there's a product out there that you have questions about, maybe I've already got it, uh, you know, send me those questions and we'll see what we can figure out. Maybe, maybe we can finally get into some sponsored content. I don't know. That's a pipe dream. But, uh, you know, if you have tools, jigs, anything, just put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them on my next episode. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one.